So the four of us are riding Locust Gap, FRO's uh, northern section, on October 4th. The trails are kind of damp. Um, everything's very green. I'm trying to lead the group up to the ridge, but Jeff says that we can't go up there anymore. So I'm trying to go anyway, but I'm not finding the magic pathway that takes you up there. What we are finding is lots of puddles. And under a lot of these puddles is a lot of mud. Also, you can see early leaf... Um, downage, leaf litter, as they usually call it. So here's a bit of a climb to see if we can find a parallel path that might be a little drier. Find us a way out of here. Let's go back to how we got in here. Okay. Head back to the main. Clearly, we did not find the magic passage I was hoping to find. This one or the next one? I think we should go all the way down and get on the muddy trail. Okay. And then stay near 54. I think we're not as close to 54901 as usual, so this trail appears to just be paralleling the other one up a little bit to the south. Now we've crossed the highway and heading more into Locust Dale. We cut through a little corner of the township, wave at the locals that are out and about, and get back on the trail. This one, I'm a little slow, would be a little, a little easier with more momentum, but we get up it. Keep going. Okay. 
this is a pretty easy trail wide open very dry we're just out for a, a Friday afternoon ride I guess it's still Friday morning a Friday morning ride And we got some rock gardens. There's that old stream bed that took us to the base of the graffiti highway. A little transit section. So Jeff takes the little it ledge along the side of the ditches that the Jeep tracks cut. I decide to go through them and discover that the mud is very deep and soft. And here I'm stopped with the motor in gear running, but we're not moving. Luckily Rob was back far enough that he wasn't getting roosted by all the mud I was throwing up. This section is a lot rockier than it looks on the video.
Ah, oh, pavement. This is, of course, just outside Centralia, the town that's been burning from an under, underground coal mine fire for 50 or 60 years. There's still a few people living in Centralia. They're all pretty old. And, uh, Eventually, I think they're going to turn it into some nature conservancy kind of place. So Tom and I take a little bit of the, the pavement to avoid needing to go down that rocky trail again. We just zip along here for a couple of minutes and meet back up with Jeff. This guy's opening up a couple small blue sucker holes, but it's still pretty much just a uh, overcast day. This is the area that was listed as an active mine area uh, last time I was up here. But they basically abandoned it, or at least stopped working on it.
one way, the rocky way. It's rocky for about a quarter mile, and then we drop down and we're on the side of the street. Now, that said, a plated vehicle could go down there and take a left and go into. I think I'm gonna take the, go down and take a left. Okay, I will go. I'm gonna take the rocky trail and meet you back at the park. Okay, see you. I'll go up there. Left. So here's the left. Puts us on 901.61. We zip back to Locust Gap. Pull on to Marshall Street. Pass West Springs Energy and pull into the trailhead as soon as we cross this bridge. <laughs> 